Hello YouTube and the Metaverse Beyond. Well, welcome back. Yes, <laughs> I'm still alive. Uh, fortunately, I'm out on my own today. There's no Budsy. He's got his head right up his ass. But uh, I think that was more to do with the weather when I left first thing this morning than it was to do with him sulking. But then I could be wrong because I have had to leave him a few times this month and the month before and he has staying happy. And I can't blame him because do you know what? When we're apart from each other, it's hard for both of us. So, yes, we're back. I don't know we are, what you're saying. Where have you been, Lee? Where have you been? Ah, oh, wow. I've been so rammed with work. It's been unbelievable. But it's been an amazing year so far with all the things that, uh, you know, I've had the opportunity to do. So for the, you that are new to the channel or you haven't been here before or... You don't know what I do in my daytime job. I'm an event manager for an automotive agency. I used to be a development test rider or crash test dummy. I retired from that. Mentally, I'm capable. Physically, I'm not in a good place. But you know what? The job I've got now, I've got as much love and passion as when I was riding motorcycles full time. So my events this year have just been absolutely mental. For the last two and a half months, they've pretty much been back to back and uh, hence I just haven't been able to put any content out. I've got lots out there waiting to be edited but I just can't do it. I just haven't got the time. So I promise you I'm going to make the time because this event season is slowly drawing to an end and my life gets a bit more realistic. I'll have time to put some content out to you good people. So uh, yeah it all started oh months ago months ago and uh, the first biggest one or the biggest one that I had this year was Goodwood and I gotta say it was an amazing experience but oh damn was it hard work so at Goodwood I was looking after a company called BYD and uh, I was in charge of track logistics and uh, the supercar paddock I gotta say it's at times like this I bloody love my job look at this lot I say it was an absolutely amazing experience and I did I clocked up 127 hours Monday to Monday it was hard work but do you know what I learned a lot I got a lot from it and you know I've seen some amazing cars some amazing bikes uh, so I run right on after that I pretty much come back and I had the ABR and uh, the ABR was brilliant this year I did manage to get there in the monkey camper we'll come back to the monkey camper in a little while uh, you, know, you know the ABR, uh, every year they change it round and make it different and I've got to say it was as good as any other year really. And then I came straight off the back of ABR and uh, for me it was uh, Boardmasters, so the build up to that and then uh, we had a week and a half in Newquay, um, just everyday solid, I was based on a cliff as you can see and um, just with a few cars as statics and overlooking Fistal Beach watching the surfing competition all week the weather was really good for most of the time a couple of days were really bad and uh, you know yet again another really good uh, event and another one I did a lot of hours on and then I rolled straight from that and I left Newquay uh, on the Monday I drove all the way to Farnborough and for the next one for me was British Motor Show and this was a project that I pretty much planned from the start and I've been working on it for the last six months putting all the details into place and British Motor Show yet again was another amazing experience and um, working with the two brands um, we've got BYD and then their sister brand which is Young Wang so the Young Wang U9 and Young Wang U8 uh, 
absolutely incredible the technologies these cars have got in. I mean, the U8 is an amphibious um, four-wheel drive. Uh, well, I suppose you could say it looks a little bit like a Range Rover but with a lot more spec. So I had the pleasure of going out and doing uh, tank turns. We've got Mark McCann to sit in the back. Look at that, that's great. That's good, look at that. So that really has been the last two and a half months of my life has just been work, 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 nothing but work. Yeah, you know, the work was enjoyable and uh, I've enjoyed every minute, every experience. But I've missed you guys, I've missed putting content out there, I've missed my Budsy, that is for sure. But, you know, we're back. I say, we're back, I'm back today. But <laughs> I'm sure Budsy will get his goggles and jump on sooner or later. We did have a day's riding uh, the day after I got back from British Motor Show a couple of days ago. And unfortunately, we went to a funeral and uh, he came on the monkey to that. And he sulked because it was only a short ride. He thought we <laughs> were going out for hours. And, you know, it was just a funeral procession. But, it was a good mate, we saw him off, he had an amazing send-off, as all bikers do. And we're back to it! So I've got so much to do, so much to say. Well, where to start, where to begin? Well, the monkey camper. Ah, oh, I spent months, months, and hours and hours building the damn monkey camper, and I love it. Um, it's just, give me a whole new lease of life. When it comes to having adventures, even two-wheeled adventures with the monkey camper, it's bloody amazing! I have got all the footage to edit and put these into videos of this, they're not tutorials, I'm not telling nobody how to suck eggs and I'm not telling anybody how you should do it. This is just following the progress of how I built my monkey camper. And it's still not finished, it's about 80% finished, should I say. So about 20% to go and it, well, are they ever really finished? It's like a house, you know. There's always something you want to do, that's for sure. But, she really has come on. And i got to say, I did make it to the ABR in a bloody amazing. Absolutely bloody amazing. There's nothing better than sleeping in a bed. My tenting days for any, any period of time is well and truly done. And that's for sure. So today was just about saying hello. I am still here. I am still thinking about you all. And I have got plenty to get edited and plenty of footage to get out to you. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart to all of you, new and old, that have stuck with us. Even though we haven't put it out for a couple of months, I just, I'm blown away. I thought, oh, I've got to keep watching the numbers decline and they're just going to leave in their droves. But you know what? You've all hung in there and I appreciate it so much. It really does make a big difference. So, ah, thank you. That's all I can say from the bottom of my heart. And, I will see you in the next video. And the next video is, I'm on the Mighty Scrambler. Oh, I need new tyres. Oh, the Metzlers are shot to bits. So, new tyres are looming. And I'll see you in that video. But until then, do you know what? Live your best life. Live your best life. I can't let you go. I can't let you go, baby. I just want to tell you that. No, 